Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Britt Brings at Home. FYI, this is a video you might wanna watch away from your kiddos. So it is March now, so almost spring and almost Easter. Have you shopped for your kids' Easter baskets yet? I just got started shopping for my kids' Easter baskets and I wanted to share with you what I got for them and some great ideas that I have for filling your kids' Easter baskets with things that are healthier, not all candy and not cheap toys that they're gonna throw away within a week. Okay, so I love Easter time. It is the best holiday because the whole reason of Easter is that we are celebrating Jesus Christ dying, but that's not all. He didn't just stay dead, he rose from the grave and he is alive today. And so we celebrate that when we celebrate Easter and we go to church and we reflect and we think about what Christ did for us, the price that he paid for us. We celebrate him being risen from the grave, but we also do these fun things that have nothing at all to do with Jesus being risen from the grave, like giving our kids Easter baskets. They are just fun traditions, you know, the Easter bunny coming and leaving a basket at our house each Easter morning. Who knows why? I don't know the history of it. I don't know why someone came up with the Easter Bunny and why he delivers baskets of candy and toys to every kid's house every Easter morning. But it's something fun. It's something that the boys look forward to each Easter morning, running out of their rooms and looking in their baskets and seeing what the Easter Bunny left them. So we have fun with it. And I did used to, back before I started my health journey, I did used to give them lots of different kinds of candy in their baskets that were not even remotely healthy at all. And since learning about some of the things that I have learned about over the past five years or so, our Easter baskets have been getting a little bit healthier each time. Now, of course, I'm not gonna give them a basket of fruits and vegetables as much as I would like that. I don't think they'd appreciate that that much. They do get some things that I don't normally buy that aren't like an every day of the year kind of a thing that aren't, I wouldn't say healthy, but they are healthier options to what I used to put in their Easter baskets and what traditionally is given in Easter baskets. So like I said, I got started shopping for their Easter baskets. I am not done yet. I still have some things to get and I will give you some more ideas besides what I have already, but let me show you what I have in my boys' Easter basket. Okay, so I said these ideas are not gonna be all candy, but there is some candy. I mean, we gotta put some candy in there. And my feeling is it's okay. It's not an every day of the year kind of a thing. We wanna enjoy life and not be strict on a diet all the time. So a little bit of candy here and there will be okay. It's not gonna cause major problems, but I wanna do what I can to make sure that it is less toxic and not full of harmful ingredients. First of all, I do have some candy, some healthier alternatives to Easter basket candy. So I have these Surf Sweets Organic Jelly Beans by wholesome. They are made with much cleaner ingredients than conventional jelly beans. They are made with organic ingredients. So the ingredients that the jelly beans are made from are not sprayed with pesticides and glyphosate, Roundup. They're not made from GMO plants and there's no high fructose corn syrup in them. So when I was shopping for candy, I went to Sprouts and picked out some candy for the boys and I looked on the ingredients on the back, which I always recommend to do. Don't just look at what the front says. Look at the back, look at the ingredients that are in there. These do not have any kind of artificial coloring or artificial flavor. Of course, the jelly beans are different colors, they're colored, but they are colored with actual natural things. They're colored with things like organic carrot concentrate for the orange and organic pumpkin concentrate and organic black currant concentrate for the red and the pink. So they're colored with actual fruit and vegetable juice. There's no high fructose corn syrup in them. These use organic cane sugar, which it's still sugar, it's still sweet, but it is a much better, cleaner, and healthier sweetener than high fructose corn syrup. So I got each of the boys a bag of those. Another kind of candy I got for them was Justin's peanut butter cups. I love these peanut butter cups because they taste just as good as Reese's in my opinion, and they are a whole lot cleaner and healthier. These are also organic, USDA certified organic. They are made with organic milk chocolate, organic peanut butter, organic cane sugar, organic palm oil, organic peanut flour, sea salt, and organic sunflower lecithin. So 
seven ingredients, that's all. Not lots of chemicals, not artificial flavors and artificial color, artificial anything. My husband and I and our boys all really like Justin's peanut butter cups. Okay, next up, I got them some fruit leather. This fruit leather by Stretch Island tastes like those fruit by the foot or fruit roll-ups that we used to have back in the day, back in the 80s. I remember my mom got those and I had those in my lunchbox a lot of times. So these are like that. They taste like that, but again, much cleaner. They only have a few ingredients. This is the raspberry flavor and it has apple puree concentrate, pear puree concentrate, raspberry puree concentrate, and lemon juice concentrate. So again, just a few ingredients and they're all real natural foods. Again, no artificial flavors, no artificial colors, and no harmful chemicals. So that's all I got for their candy. And by the way, I'm not giving them this whole bag. My two boys are going to split this bag. I got them each a bag of jelly beans and each a few fruit leathers. So next, I got them some snacks. I got them each a bag of peanut butter and jelly bites from Sprouts. These are not the most healthy thing, but they are a lot healthier than other snacks you might buy at the grocery store. They are are gluten free and they have strawberry filling and the like cookie part on the outside is made from brown rice flour and peanut flour and cane sugar and refined coconut oil sea salt rice bran extract and oat fiber so they are gluten free I'm all about that even though my boys don't have any autoimmune disease or digestive issues or any signs of being gluten intolerant I still try to keep their gluten intake pretty low and not feed them a bunch of bread and cake and cookies and things that are filled with gluten so that they don't develop an autoimmune disease or allergies, eczema, or other issues that gluten can cause. So again, these are not something I would buy all the time, but it is a fun treat for them to enjoy for Easter. Another snack I got for each of them is plantain chips. So plantains are kind of like bananas, but not as sweet, more starchy. And these are just cooked in oil with some sea salt on them. And that is it. And that makes for a much healthier kind of a chip. You still get that crunch. My boys love the flavor of them. Again, you don't have lots of preservatives and chemicals and GMO filled foods, artificial flavors and colors and things that you would get in traditional chips. And then one more snack I got for each of them was some meat sticks. So my boys love these. These are Nick sticks and they are from 100% grass fed beef. So they're cows that aren't given any hormones or any antibiotics and they're eating what they're naturally meant to eat, grass instead of grains. There's no soy, no MSG, no gluten, no nitrates, no artificial colors and flavors that you would normally find in beef sticks like Slim Jims. This just has grass fed beef, water, and spices and it lists all the spices. Coriander, mustard, celery seed, black pepper, paprika, turmeric, parsley, garlic, and onion. So I got one of my boys that one and then I got my other boy an epic bar which is another kind of a like meat snack. This one is made from venison and again this is a very clean meat snack. All it has is venison, so deer meat, and salt, lactic acid, water, black pepper, celery powder, onion powder, and garlic powder. That's it. So when you're shopping for candy and snacks for your kids' Easter baskets, try to choose things that have few ingredients and that aren't filled with artificial sweeteners, artificial flavors, artificial colors, anything artificial. Try to choose foods that are organic so that you know they're not made with GMO crops and they're not sprayed with glyphosate or Roundup. Also try to choose things that aren't filled with tons of sugar. It is Easter, they're gonna be getting candy, there's gonna be sugar in it, but try not to overload them with tons of tons of sugar so I got just a few you know food products which some have sugar in them but they are less sugar than alternatives and they are made with more natural sugars so try to choose real sugars as opposed to artificial sweeteners like aspartame and high fructose corn syrup I know those things are more expensive buying healthier packaged food is almost always more expensive than non-healthy packaged food but one way you can keep your price the same is by just getting less kids don't need 15 different kinds of candy just get a few pieces of candy but make them healthier ones they don't need five different kinds of snacks in their Easter basket just choose two snacks but make them healthier versions I know as moms a lot of times we try to spoil our kids and fill up their Easter baskets to the brim, overflow them, have stuff laying out in front, but kids do not need that. Kids are fine with, you know, filling half of it up with that grass and then putting a few things in there. 
still something special, still something different, and it will be fun for them. Okay, so that is all for food, all the food items that I got for the boys. So besides food items, I also always try to get some things that they need, like toiletries. So I got them some body wash. This is shampoo and body wash together which I love to not have to use two different things for them. And this is by Alafia. It is the kids shampoo and body wash in lemon lavender. And they've used this before and I really like this. We love the scent of it. And I love the ingredients, all clean ingredients like shea butter and coconut oil and lavender oil and lemon extract things that will actually nourish their skin and not dry their skin out and that aren't filled with chemicals and artificial colors and parabens and phthalates which can cause hormone disruption. One of my sons actually had an allergic reaction to some bath soap that we used one time that had red dye in it and that red dye made his skin break out into hives all over. And so I try to avoid red dye if at all possible. And so I really like the Alafia Kids Body Wash. I trust their ingredients, very clean. So that is going in their Easter basket. And then I also got them some toothbrushes. Yes, toothbrushes. <laughs> These ones I thought would be fun for them because they are made of bamboo. So they're a lot more eco-friendly and sustainable. It takes a whole lot less time to grow bamboo than it does trees. And it's biodegradable. So it's not gonna just end up in a landfill someday. And they are non-toxic and be PA free. So as weird as it might seem to get soap and toothbrushes in your Easter basket, my boys actually really like it. They like getting new things, cool things that they can use in their everyday life. They already use toothbrushes anyway, so why not get them a new one that is more fun or you know different than what they already have. And then the last thing that I got so far is band-aids. These are also bamboo band-aids made from a bamboo fabric and they are hypoallergenic. So it's not made with plastic and latex. This is stuff that will not harm the skin and cause more problems than there already is when they fall and get a cut or a scratch. So these are by Patch and they have different kinds of band-aids for like bites and stings and cuts and scrapes. So I got the one that is for cuts and scrapes. So that's something I know will be fun. I mean, kids like getting new band-aids. They like putting band-aids on even when they don't really need them. Trust me, I know I was a teacher and part of my job description was putting band-aids on when they got a paper cut or when their finger just hurt. So they enjoy band-aids, so I thought some bamboo ones would be fun for them. Some other fun things you can get your kids in their Easter baskets that are not candy or snacks are books. I always try to get a book or a coloring book, some kind of a book to put in their Easter baskets. So I try to choose a book that has something to do with Easter, like the very first Easter that tells about how Easter started and how Jesus died on the cross and rose again it tells the actual meaning of Easter. So that's a great one for kids to keep their mind focused on the reason for the season. Another great one for that is God Gave Us Easter. And then some fun Easter or spring type books are always a good idea too. My boys aren't that into coloring as much anymore, but I have in the past definitely gotten them different Easter related coloring books and crayons. These crayons that are in the shape of Easter eggs are really cute so if your kids like to color a lot and are in need of a new coloring book and crayons that would be a great idea I'm not gonna get that for my boys because I know that'll just sit on their bookshelves and they won't use it we already have tons of crayons anyway so we definitely do not need more we don't have room for more just like Christmas Easter is a time I try not to go crazy and get my kids tons of things that they're not gonna use they don't need at all I don't want things just sitting on their shelves and then totally forget Forget about them not ever use them again because that's just a waste of money <laughs> another great idea for an Easter basket gift is something that they can play with outdoors something outdoorsy whether it's a new jump rope or a new soccer ball or some bubbles if you have a little or sidewalk chalk if your kids are into playing in the dirt and finding bugs a bug catching kit would be really fun for them if they like to watch birds a bird watching book and some binoculars would be a fun idea my kids have definitely sat outside and watched birds before so binoculars is an idea I have for them if they like helping with gardening then getting them their own little gardening set would be really fun you could get them their own little packet of seeds and some gardening tools and a little pot to grow their flowers or their vegetables or whatever in and then that makes for not just 
a cool thing to look at, but also a fun experience. I'm all about giving things that are not things that they're gonna throw away in a week, but things that offer fun experiences that get them outside, getting them to do fun things together in the outdoors. So going along that line, something else you could put in their basket is a ticket to some kind of an experience. So you could get them a ticket to the zoo. It could be a real ticket or make up your own little ticket, write on a piece of paper or print out a little ticket or whatever they're interested in. A ticket to a baseball game once baseball starts again or a ticket to a museum or an aquarium, something like that that they would be interested in. And then another idea is some kind of a toy, whatever their favorite toy is. I always try to get my kids one good toy, something that they really love. So right now, both of my boys are really into Legos. So I'm probably gonna get each of them a Lego set to build. If your kids really love stuffed animals and they don't have a gazillion already <laughs> and they could use another stuffed animal, get them a stuffed animal. Around Easter time, they are the cutest stuffed animals, little bunnies, little bears, little ducks. Both of my boys got bunny stuffed animals from my mom in an Easter basket that she made for them two or three years ago and they still sleep with those bunnies to this day. So that was something that was special to them. They really love those for some reason but I'm not getting them any more stuffed animals just because they have so many and they don't need it anymore. And then another good idea would be something like a craft or a project to do inside. So if you have a girl that loves making crafts, get her like a jewelry making set or a slime making set if your kids like slime and you like having slime in the house, go for it. My son Jackson is really into science experiments like volcanoes, making volcanoes and setting them off and making catapults and marble runs and things like that. So a little science kit would be a cool idea for him. Another good idea would be a game to play as a family. So it could be an outdoor game like bocce ball or an indoor board game like Candyland. So mamas, try not to overload your basket it's a basket, it's not a table full of stuff. Try to keep it contained within the basket or maybe just a tiny bit outside of it. Try not to go crazy getting your kids things that they won't use or things that they're not gonna be that interested in, they're not gonna last long, or tons of candy that they don't need. The American Heart Association recommends for kids to have no more than 25 grams of sugar a day, which even that is a lot of sugar. So these have 57 grams of sugar in the entire packet so that's two days worth of sugar right there I probably would make this last like four days with my kids so yeah try not to overload your kids with tons of sugar that they don't need that's just gonna make them go crazy and sugar is a contributing cause to many diseases and health related problems try to help your kids teachers out or help your own self out and not overload them with sugar and artificial colors Show your kids that you love them. Part of showing them that you love them is giving them things that will help to take care of them and not contribute to health problems. So we can do both. We can show them that we love them and we can help them to be healthier. They go hand in hand. So let the Easter Bunny give them some things that they would be interested in, that they would have a lot of fun with, that they would think are cool, and that aren't gonna cause them a bunch of harm. So those are some ideas, some things that I have in my Easter basket so far, and some more ideas of things that I'm going to shop for them very soon because Easter is coming up. Let me know in the comments below, what are you planning to get for your kids Easter baskets or if you already went shopping, if you are a mama that's on top of it all, you have it all together, kudos to you. Good for you. That's awesome. Let me know what you did get for your kids. All right, guys, give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Share it with another mama friend that might enjoy it also. And be sure to subscribe to my channel to stay up to date on all my latest videos. And I will catch you in the next one. From my home to yours, see you next time.